Uh, so my name is Faber Kodepe. I am from Long Island, New York. Um, I'm currently a senior at Caltech studying computer science with a minor in information data science. Um, so being from New York, I guess the dream place to be is like Los Angeles. So I kind of had that mind going into college. Um, and then I had taken an AP computer science principal class in my senior year and I really liked it. I liked the idea of being able to see your work immediately and see what you can create. Um, I felt like I was a creative person, but not in terms of like art, but in terms of like something else. Um, and I felt like that was a great opportunity for me to do that. Uh, so I was like, you know, I'm going to do computer science in California. And at the time in high school, I was also doing swimming competitively. And I wanted to go somewhere that I could do that, but it wouldn't control my whole like academic experience. So D3 was probably the best option for me. So that's kind of like Caltech you know, and, um, and a little bit. So it was like I got the really good education. I got to be in an area that I wanted to be in. I really liked the small um, like class sizes. Um, and I really liked the idea that there were actually no fraternities or sororities. So like a little bit smaller social life. Um, and it was also an opportunity for me to do athletics as well. Something that I didn't expect was that I didn't expect it to be so theoretical. Um, so I think when it comes to the CS degree at Caltech, it's very theoretical. Um, there are not a lot of like practical classes to be able to take. Um, I can think of like two like off the top of my head, um, but besides that, nothing much. Um, but I do think it teaches you like the basics and the foundations that are applicable to any field that you go into. Um, especially like for me in my internships, doing internships in data science, um, even though I had theoretical classes, they were great in like kind of establishing this foundation for me. Um, so yeah. So my freshman year, I was an instructor at a, a coding camp for kids. So that was really cool. Um, and then my sophomore year, I did two internships. I worked as a machine learning um, researcher for JPL and the ICE systems model team. And then I also worked at JP Morgan as an AI and data science fellow. And then um, I went back to JP Morgan this past summer in Dallas, um, working in their focused analytics solutions team. So I was also doing data science as well. And then uh, after graduation, I'll be going to Oracle as a software engineer. Applying is not easy. <laughs> I think especially with how bad like the market is nowadays. Um, but something that I always like encourage people to do is go to conferences. Um, every single job that I've gotten um, besides the JPL one has literally been through going to conferences, connecting with people there, um, getting application links there as well and connecting recruiters. So that has been my way of everything working out pretty much for me, especially with how like the market is right now. Yeah, um, so in high school, I was super quiet, like super quiet, I wouldn't talk to anyone. So for me, like Caltech was just like, a huge like amount of people like being super social but like now looking back on it like everyone was just pretty quiet <laughs> but just more talkative than me um and i think like people were so different socially because there are people from so many different backgrounds like a lot of people came from high schools where they're more active and more social and then some people came from some places where more smaller towns and like they more kept to themselves so i think you just see a huge mix of people at different levels of social energy um, so that was definitely a shock for me, but it also helped me to like kind of get out of my comfort zone. I kind of just forced myself. <laughs> uh, I think you kind of have to. Um, for, so for me, what I think helped me was doing a sport, like being on the swim team here, I think was a really um, good way of me like socializing with people. So like people I was swimming with, like that helped me to talk more and get to know people from different areas, people from different houses. Um, and then also like I did the summer program where it's, it's like a summer program that you do before you come to Caltech and that also allowed me to meet people like who are also in my class. So kind of having people that I already knew, it made it a lot easier for me to then socialize when everyone else came back to campus as well. Um, I think to some extent, yes, but I do think it really comes down to your friend group. I think like it just comes down to the people you're around. And I think that's what's helped me personally. Um, Cause I feel like with my friends, it doesn't feel like that, but are, there are people who are like that. So I think it comes down to your friends. Leave campus. <laughs> I think it's, it, it again, depends. Like I think for me, like in my friends, we just love trying new restaurants and trying new food places. So like doing that is like a lot of fun for us. Um, or like, I do know like a lot of people like going hiking or things like that. So I think everyone here has their own version of like 
you know, ways to de-stress and like have fun with their friends, especially during the weekends. And I think with us being in LA, it's like the perfect place to have so many different things to do. Um, so it's a really nice area as well. And I think that's why you have so many different options. So each house, we have eight houses and each house hosts like an inner house party. Um, and it's basically like themes. Like even this weekend, one of the houses is hosting an inner house called La La Land. Um, and it's after like the La La Land movie. And basically, um, the they like paints like different um images like from the movie or based on the theme um and then everyone kind of dresses up according to it and then like they have like different people doing dj sets um so they have like a variety of different movie uh music as well there are people that i would say like their personality is like how passionate they are about their house um i do think well because the thing is like you hope that the house you're in is a house that you thought really vibed with, was the type of energy that you are um, so people tend to like really stay like make all their friends within their house and stay within the house um, but for me I guess since I wasn't a big fan of my house I tend to venture I ventured out and like made friends and I think every house <laughs> um, so I would say like it depends on how the per like how the person is enjoying the company or enjoying their house and appreciating their house culture if they really do like it they tend to really kind of keep all their social life in the house like with having friends within the house for example one of the houses blacker is known for having like only meckies there or like a majority meckies um but besides that i would say like it's based on like personality like people who like more sporty things tend to go to my house which is called fleming uh people who are more party like interested go to like page house um and then you have like certain houses that are more divided on like ethnicity like oh there's a higher ethnicity in this house so people tend to go there so there are many different ways it's divided um outside of just like major um but i do think like everyone kind of gets along with each other clubs aren't that active um at caltech i would say people um they say like caltech students are very busy so they tend to not really have time for those type of things um i think caltech students prefer like hanging out with their friends than like doing social clubs um but besides i would say like the closest thing would be like cultural clubs like for example like i think one of the most active clubs on campus is our black student union and i think just because a lot of people are friends with people there so it's a great opportunity for them to like meet their friends as well um so i think unless the club is like <clears throat> tied to like culture it tends to not really be that act. I think like in other schools, like I haven't really been able to like venture out, but um, at least talking to my sister who goes to a school by here, it just kind of, kind of doesn't really seem like you're in a house because or a dorm because of like your personality. It's just like, oh, for housing. But here it's like taken a lot more seriously. Like you're in the house because um, like the culture of the house is something that you feel like you relate to and you enjoy. Um, so it's very different in that aspect. I would say the best thing is like if they're in a house, it depends. If they really do like their house, I would say like go to house events, like dinners, because they usually have like weekly dinners um, or like house events or maybe they'll go to like lake to grab food. I would also suggest going to office hours and recitations like they, you actually will not believe this, but I've made so many friends like just from going there and like working on problem sets together and then you just like connect from there. So obviously that's another opportunity. Um, also like performing and like uh, or like being active in like inner house sports. Like house houses usually compete for different sports, so that'd be a great opportunity to meet people. Um, and yeah, I guess it also depends on their interests. Like if they're part of a certain like ethnic group, I would say probably get involved in like that their club that's related to that or something that they can relate to as well.